Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends massive Spider-Man retro series, Kingpin. And welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it, Dan Who. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series, Mahusiv Deluxe Kingpin. Now, not only do I love Wilson Fix, but I also love the possibilities that this new massive retro card gives us with the Spider-Man retro line, as now we know they could give us a rhino or a lizard or many, many others on this big out retro card. So fingers crossed Hasbro have some more up their sleeves because Kingpin we got very recently uh, as a builder figure, but this is a nice deco change, a little update to make it a little bit more accurate to certain comic panels and his look from the animated show is sort of inspired by that as well so yeah just overall a nice kingpin we also get a beaten up head as well for your acba and all of that goodness but yes this retro card is massive if i bring in like a normal size retro card for comparison you can see how much bigger it is so yes without a doubt wilson fisk is massive and this deluxe retro card is very very nice so hopefully someone makes uh, a nice protector case for this size box so I can get it on my wall. But yeah, very happy with this. So there's Kingpin in the box. You can see everything you get there. And then on the back, if we spin it all the way around, you get other figures of we've already got in this retro wave. Uh, a little picture that shows he's got an interchangeable head. But the right up that reads, Wilson Fisk ruefully rules New York's underworld with cunning and keen intelligence. So yeah, as I said, my card's so big, it will hardly fit on my review table. So we best get this open. So here we have Kingpin out of the box. Now reviewing this guy of a white jacket on a white background probably isn't the best idea, but we shall try our best. So this is all the accessories he comes with. His cane, of course, and an interchangeable head, which is fine. I didn't expect many accessories for this massive figure in a retro card. So happy uh, with what we've got, as at least we have something new, which is this beaten up head so previously we got the mouth with that sort of gritted teeth sort of angry face but now he's got some scratches some scars and a bruise so you can get him in some aba battles with spider-man or daredevil or whoever it may be so obviously this is the second time we have kingpin so let me just move him to the side and let's just do a straight up comparison with the previous builder figure so here's the builder figure kingpin before so it is the exact same figure in every way apart from the deco it's all about the deco change these retro figures switch it up a little bit now obviously there is more than that there is a, a tie on this one this guy's got a bit of an ascot going on uh, a little bit more comic accurate if you will over here uh, but there is plenty of use for this guy and we shall get into that because i have right here my shadow king head of course uh, so we shall show you what you can do there so there's no way reason to complain about having uh, a reissue of a previous figure as Hasbro have been giving us bits and bobs where we can at least find a space for both of these figures on the display. So let me get a closer look and I'll show you all the differences. So comparing both kingpins, firstly, both of the head sculpts are exactly the same, but the eyebrows on this new retro version seem a little bit darker compared to the sort of gray versions on the builder figure. Not a big difference though, that's fine. Uh, a big difference is that tie versus this ascot so you've got this light blue ascot with that gold pin compared to the black shirt and the purple tie on the builder figure and then obviously the undercoat on the retro version is this sort of mustardy orange and that's all the way under as well against this white jacket so both of them have the white jacket but the retro version is orange compared to the builder figure it's just all white so it's basically white on white and you get more of a contrast look with this uh, retro version moving down to the trousers aka pants if you're in america so these are purple on the retro version compared to all white again on the builder figure so a lot of white on the builder figure and more color here on the retro both of the boots well the shoes are black and that's not a big difference and then the cane i think is more brown on the retro version compared to the black on the builder figure again not a big difference uh, the little handkerchief pieces on the um, suit is a little bit different as well in color nothing major it's mainly about the sort of middle it's mainly about the ascot on the different colors um, but yeah there are your differences other than that it's the same figure same articulation uh, it's just pick your preference so this new interchangeable beaten up head is actually on the figure in the packaging. So if you're keeping this in box, 
this is how you're displaying your kingpin. So it is the same as the previous version, as you can see, the same sculpt, but now the paintwork is a little bit different, so he's a bit beaten up. So you can see he's got a black eye, scar, scratches, definitely been a little bit of a battle there and again the eyebrows are darker on the retro version compared to the gray of the builder figure so again now we at least we have a different head sculpt for kingpin at least a little bit different anyway if you want to do some acba and stuff like that but all the head swaps will swap on and off of the both of the body so you can do what you want so let's see if we can make use for that other kingpin Again, I apologize for the white on white review. Not great, but I didn't have time to change it out. Anyway, here we have Kingpin. So if you're like me, you've just bought this new Kingpin and you're thinking, okay, now what am I meant to do with my second Kingpin? Then let's work that out. So if you have brought the Professor X figure, you will have this Shadow King interchangeable head. So now we have this guy that can be our regular Kingpin on the shelf. Let's pop the head off this Builder Figure version and put on our Shadow King head. And now this can be our Shadow King in our Marvel Legends display. Now, a lot of people as well have been swapping out these hands and putting more Shadow King accurate hands on there from the Monster Venom Builder figure. So obviously, if you're like me, you've just brought the Venom Deluxe figure, you've probably got a Monster Venom sitting on the back of the display, may not be in use right now. So let's take the hands off this guy and put them on this Kingpin. And there you have it. Now you have a use for this Builder Figure Kingpin. You can turn him into Shadow King, and then you can have this Retro Kingpin as your regular Kingpin on the shelf. That's a lot of kingpins. But still, it's nice to always find a workaround to have all these displayed on your shelf. And if you don't have a Monster Venom Builder figure, then you can use the recent Toxin hands as well as they're black and they would also work nicely with this Shadow King. However, I do like the sort of purple tint on these hands because it sort of complements his tie. So if you do buy this retro Kingpin to take out a packaging, you can have a nicer, more colorful Kingpin for the display. And then as I said, you can use the previous Builder figure for Shadow King. And as I said, both big chunky figures, I'll be curious to see how these compare with Joe Fixit Builder figure that I've got soon. So uh, look out for that. But uh, yeah, for now, these look good. Jumping into a couple comparisons, here we have the Retro Kingpin compared to the Retro Mysterio. Full review and comparison of this Mysterio on the channel right now. Click that eye in the corner or go to the videos tab. But yeah, both of these retro figures, very nice. I hope Hasbro give us more of Spider-Man's Rose Gallery in this retro form because these so far have been upgrades. Just to compare Kingpin to a regular size suited Marvel Legends body, here we have him compared to Norman Osborn. So that's the unmasked Norman Osborn head that come with the retro wave green goblin, just on a regular suited Marvel Legends body. I believe that is Coulson's body, but still, you can see how big Kingpin looks compared to him. It wouldn't be right if I didn't do a Spider-Man comparison either. So here we have the retro wave Spider-Man compared to Kingpin. And finally, here we have Hellfire Hank compared to Kingpin. So, final thoughts, I probably shouldn't review a figure with a white suited jacket against a white background, duly noted. But still, Kingpin, very much an upgrade to the previous Builder figure, in my opinion, as it's more accurate to certain comic panels and has more of an animated series vibe, which is what I'm sort of going for on my sort of rogues gallery for the Spider-Man shelf. So yeah, I'm liking this Kingpin. It's just got a little bit more colour, a little bit more pop, if you will. But yeah, I like it that I haven't got a wasted Builder figure. I can pop on that Shadow King head and I'm very happy with that as well. So yeah, no waste around here, definitely worth getting. And if you've already got the Builder figure Kingpin, I do think this is an upgrade. So get yourself the Retro Kingpin as well. Even if you're going to keep one on card, it is beautiful. Trust me, you will not regret it. So let me know in the comments below what you're going to do. Did you pick up this Kingpin? Have you made Shadow King? Do you even know who Shadow King is? Let me know in the comments below and I may educate you on a future video. But until then, people who want to see more reviews and check out my Mysterio review or my Doctor Doom review of them recently, go to the videos tab. But most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciated. And if if you want to support the channel a little bit more, you can on Patreon. Links in the description below. But until then, people, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.